Okay, this is um, going to use a switch connected to 5 volts ground and over to the enable pin on the motor controller. Um, this is going to act as a safety kind of switch um, in its current configuration it's always going to be high unless the switch is closed and then it's going to go low and you'll see what happens the motor will stop so should this hit something or you know if this could be almost any kind of switch if, if you wanted it to be a 45 degree tilt switch or, or something like that um, you could do that so this is running a pulse width modulation to cause the wheel to spin faster and if I hit the switch right now it just stops I let off and it resumes. So it's interrupting. It's interrupting the uh, 5 volts on the enable pin. Okay, um, this is part 5A, and um, this is essentially the same sketch as 5. I have moved pulse width modulation pin to pin 10 on the Arduino, which you can no longer see. Um, I have added my switch back in only this time instead of going to directly to the enable pin I have it going into the interrupt pin which is pin 2 on the Arduino Uno um, the enable pin is connected to pin 5 um, what you might notice here is that the motor is kind of jerky um, at speed and um, I believe the reason for that is because of the interrupt pin and the timings and all that um, causes minor timing issues or major timing issues with the pulse width modulation um, Moving it from pin 3 to pin uh, 10 seemed to correct a lot of that, but you could still see there's a lot of jerkiness going on. So, uh, basically what happens though is when I, while it's moving, If I uh, activate the switch, it stops. So it's doing a very similar thing that it was doing when I just had the switch connected directly to the enable pin. Um, now there's a little software control going on so we could cause it to do something else while that switch is in a low state. Um, but be aware of possibly some timing issues with doing this, possibly some jerkiness. Uh, so anyway, these are uh, just a few, well, I, I can't think of any other way to actually control these motors with this, but 
these are just a few ways. I personally prefer a two-wire method, uh, leaving the enable pins jumpered um, and doing the inverted logic. I personally think that, that that's one of the better ways to do this. Um, I do see some great advantage to um, having a switch on the enable pins, especially for safety reasons. So there, there's definitely some advantages there. There's some disadvantages if you connect it up to the, uh, the interrupt pin, but it, but it works. So. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.